I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series model here and in this video I'm going to keep it really short and I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard with no almost no tools required I won't even call it a tool anyway and this applies for any 5000 series doesn't matter what kind of CPU you have iCore 5 iCore 3 as long as the 5000 series Inspiron 15 the only tool that you're going to be needing is a small guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick because it's really tough and soft edges. So I'll try to find the link for a new keyboard. I'll leave the link in on the description. So let's, get, let's go ahead and start. What you want to do, you want to turn it off completely, make sure it's powered off. Then what you want to do, right, you're going to see between the escape and the F1 key, there's a little tiny gap right there. Again, there's one on F5, again on F10, between the delete and insert, there's one right over there. And the last one is right all the way under the power on button right there. So what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick, you want to stick the guitar pick right in here and you want to push this clip, that clip it has to go towards the back end. So you want to push it right there and then you want to lift up the keyboard. While you lift it up, you want to hold it with your finger a little bit, so you want to slip back down, push this one down, just a little tiny tap, it will just get loose. Now I got this out. Now I can easily put my finger right here, while I cross over and try to snap these points right there. So now we got everything out, and the sides, they just pop open. Bring it over and flip it down in this cross position. And you're gonna see the backlight flex cable right here. To remove it, you can either use your fingernails to lift it up. I'm gonna use a, so you guys can see. You wanna lift up this black one 90 degrees upward, and then you wanna slide the flex cable out. You can do this by hand, you don't need a tweezers. With the flex cable for the keyboard, same thing, just lift up this cover 90 degrees upward, and then, slide out the flex cable the part number for this one is 07 tt 4j that's the part number and the model is nsk dash lr 0 bc i'll try to find the link for this ones all right let's say that you got the new keyboard in you want to place it just like this in this position and you want to grab the flex cable this says up so that means this side has to face up if your lock is closed open up the lock right here and then it slide in 45 but this has a tiny clips right here I don't know if you guys can see with of these corners it will not slide in you have to put it in in 45 degree angle and then all the way in and then push it towards the motherboard and then close the lock right on top of it. Same thing here. This one has a little tiny bumps on the corners. So the flex cable has to go 90 deg 45 degree inside and then sit it down on the motherboard and then lock it down. Once you did that, you just easily want to flip it over, bring it on. And uh, first put down the slide this one right on the palm rest. And then hold it from the middle so you have this kind of curvature. So push down this side down. And push this side down and then let go and then press where the hooks are. And that's it pretty much. And that's how you replace your keyboard for your laptop Inspire 15 5000 series. And I hope this video helped you guys out if it did please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing it really help and uh, motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video